Hi, Professor. Here is my reflection for my first class, and let's begin. Let me share the screen. Okay, and here is my video, and let's begin. Sorry, no. Yep. Ready? Actually, yeah, let's go. Okay. Go. Okay. So, first of all, let's have our rhythm for this piece. And it's not like this. And we need the accent on the, for, uh, accent on the first piece. Uh, I think this part I'm good. I talk to students that we need to clap the rhythm to get a great tempo these kind of things and have the accent on the first beat because we have something like this and I want to do some music music scenes with the practice first and I think it's very useful and, What's that? Yeah, the note name. Yeah, and for this part, um, I will struggle about the selfish. Just so I I think the wrong pitch. <laughs> so this is a starting pitch. Let's all part sing together. Uh, and I'll do a demo first. Uh, okay. For this part, what I sing is just I give the demo for. Four part and everybody can sing with me and like a choir builder and student continue sing the melody and I'll let the soprano sing the melody, the auto sing the ding dong ding dong and get this feeling and then add the tenor part. And for the tenor part, bass can sing together with tenor to science. This part, bass don't have anything. This is very similar to a normal part. Do that. Mm. Yeah, and for this part, also as Oscar has seen uh, in the uh, all, class, all, all in I don't the need to take the score always on my hand. I can just put it on the stand and sometimes have a look of it. I don't don't need to take it over at everywhere. <laughs> Okay, here is what I want to everybody have a, a totally feeling of the first piece from uh, for first part from measure 1 to measure 12. And firstly, use the salvage and then put the test inside. And then put the test inside. Bring our test inside, and the test is something like. Oh, oh, let's do just the test first with the rhythm. Oh, the uh, for this part, I think it's maybe a little bit useless. Maybe at the beginning, I can clap the rhythm like, and everybody sing the clap with me. All seem to say, throw cares away. Christmas is here, bring ye good cheer to young and old, me and the old. So it's like I think at the beginning I can do this kind of things and don't need to do an extra exercise of just the test. 
Like so maybe let us uh, keep more time, not like waste a little bit time of it on the same things. But I think totally it's great. Maybe until here. Okay. What's your name? What's your name? Okay, let's make sure. I think for next. Uh, next class, I need to pay more attention on the selfish, these kind of things. Something like sing the auto auto first, and all power just sing with the auto, and then add the soprano. And since soprano is still the melody, and they know how to sing it, and then everybody sing the tenor together, and finally the tenor a uh, tenor part sing with the bass, and they can have a uh, have something they can sing about. Uh, between these two sounds, the tenor and the bass, and soprano sing with the alto and put it together, something like these kind of things. Just uh, something like do a um, practice of each part and then put it together. And also, I think in the class, I don't need to sing. Uh, I I don't need to say too much things just by. And uh, this part is. Uh, uh, By it on the piano, is or I can just use voice to. This part is. To sing it, not like say a lot of words on it. And I'm really a little bit feel so nervous here, so. And here I can just do the. Piano part and sing the far. And I think this will I'll be more easy to get the pitch. And selfish is really not good. And I think when I use piano to do the demo, I can play one octave, not like only the single notes. Okay, that's kind of good. Oh, one, four. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 this part, I'm thinking about something. I want to tell both of these two people. But when I when I sing the bass part, uh, tenor needs something trouble, and I want to help them, but it will make bass feel lost. So I'm really struggle here. Uh, a little bit, no, uh, don't know how to how to fix two part at the same time. So, so you just want me to do. Yeah. You have one minute left. Will you regroup and give us something to end on that feels like we nailed it? Okay, so let me show you this. Yeah. Repeat the whole thing that we have teach from the beginning. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention is the <laughs> piano, these kind of things. Very required at the beginning. I forgot to say it. 
Crescendo, I forget to say it. Here we come to piano when the tenor comes. Good, and let's pause right there. Let's pause. Good, 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 good. Okay. We're not done yet. Great. Okay, this is Oscar. Give your piece to So it's something like this, and that is the Oscar's reflection to my class. And we can have a look at this one. And Okay, mm -hmm. good job. I mean, I really love the whole My favorite part right here is just the, the, the whole flow. It, the whole lesson flow like a very from the beginning. I think when I when I teaching and when I conduct, I can do something like what I've learned in MNT two four six, like use my left hand to control the volume of the each part and use my Right there hand to do the contact, and from the beginning, <laughs> something I can do is like. And here I have a cue on the auto part because they have and have a little cue for auto part and then give a cue for the tenor part. And the song can be a little bit because we have a piano here. So when we're looking at and then at measure score, starting we have, have the little board and I can do something like right? with no names uh, that this kind of movement from measure nine to a measure a twelve and okay. get a and so then in your brain also we were singing sort of in two keys right you had the key that was written yeah right yeah and so so for this note instead of putting a name what might be more helpful in your score. Mm. Yeah. Are we gonna sing another one in a row? Here is something like uh, yeah. I I always write oh, the. Uh, yes, we're gonna sing the soul fetch. So when you're labeling your score, you want to think about when, when I get a new score. So for me, I know that soul fetch is a strength, but maybe I I need to put the wrong yeah. in because I want to double check harmonically how things are. So something up. like I can say this. You have such great strength. Oh, he go long and C P C A very quickly. So for example, when we come in over here. Right? On the but e I'll try to fix next on the class. E flat mm -hmm. We should be an interval of a minor third, and they came in on a unison note. Right? So instead of going on, it's okay to go back and isolate and make sure that it's set in there. I'd say the first four minutes of your teaching was like expert level teaching. Would you all agree with that? The first four minutes of your teaching, it was like, it was like so you've been teaching for 30 years. Already. First then measure we sometimes measure have a moment where it's like, oh my gosh, something I put on the score, something, something like that I, I have do, didn't go how it practiced again and, and again and so again. And so I think it will be very useful. But after yeah. measure 12, I'm really a little bit nervous and because and okay. Okay. we have the something like we have the original melody for the soprano, and only. Only da 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 for the for the auto and for tenor part and bass part I'm a little bit struggle here because they have the very different notes and also I wanna help both part in the same time so I think that's the part I need to keep learning. And I think that's it. Here is all my reflection, uh, reflection for the video. And thank you. Thanks for watching.